All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So we officially have the full EZA details for the Fizz Gogeta, or sorry, that's uh, AGL Gogeta, and Fizz Broly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. So of course in this video, we are gonna be going through everything together and find out how good they made these guys with their EZAs. Uh, so with that said, let's jump right into the Gogeta first. And of course, a big shout out to the homie Goresh for all the translations. And uh, for comparison purposes, we're going to start with the uh, pre EZA details first. Okay, so right now, his leader skill is Movie Heroes Category Key plus 3, Attack plus 170%, and HP and Defense plus 150%, or Fusion Category Key plus 3, Attack plus 170 and HP and defense plus 130%. His super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, attacks effective against all types, medium chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, and transforms when conditions are met, and he transforms starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. So that's what the Super Gogeta currently does without an EZA. Now, with the EZA, the new leader skill is Movie Heroes or Fusion Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, and the passive is Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 140%, gains an additional Attack and Defense plus 50% when attacking, attacks effective against all types, high chance to evade enemy attacks, and transforms when conditions are met. So basically, the main changes here are of course the leader skill gets better, and then uh, he's getting 40% uh, more attack and defense to start, and then the additional 50% attack and defense when attacking, and then also he gets a high chance to evade instead of a medium chance to evade, so from 30% chance to 50% chance. And of course the transformation condition will stay the same because they never change those for easy A's. So uh, yeah, looking Pretty good, looking pretty good. Uh, super attack is greatly raises attack and defense uh, for one turn and causes immense damage. And before it was uh, just greatly raises attack. So he gets more defense on a super two, which is always a good thing. So uh, yeah, that is the super, or sorry, super Saiyan Gogeta, not super Gogeta. And I'll say like, it's a solid upgrade. Um, like not a huge change by any means, but if you factor in the fact that his stats will be getting a lot better with the EZA, um, he should be hitting really hard. He should be getting some solid defense, uh, not great defense, but solid defense. And of course the high chance to dodge will kind of make up for that unless you're on like the end stages of some of the harder events where they cancel dodge, right? Which can be a problem. But uh, that is the Super Saiyan Gogeta. Now moving on to the Blue Gogeta. So once you transform into Blue Gogeta, his super attack becomes greatly raises attack for three turns and causes immense damage. And passive attack and defense plus 130% performs a critical hit when attacking. So guaranteed crits, high chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks. So this is, of course, before the EZA. Now with the EZA, his passive becomes key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, and gains an additional uh, attack and defense plus 50% when attacking. Attacks are critical critical hits, create chance to evade enemy attacks, gains an additional key plus 2, and attack plus 50% for 4 turns after evading an attack. So, as you can see, he gets 20% uh, more attack and defense and also 3 key, and then also the 50% attack and defense when attacking is new. Uh, the attacks are crits, is not new, great chance to evade instead of a uh, high chance to evade, right? So 50% to 70% chance now, and then also the additional key plus 2, and uh, attack plus 50% for 4 turns after evading an attack. And uh, super attack is greatly raises attack and defense for 4 turns and causes immense damage. So one more turn on the... Uh, stacking as well and also there was no defense before so now it's greatly raises attack and defense for four turns instead of just greatly raises attack for three turns so uh yeah blue gogeta kind of the same thing um a nice upgrade i think that this eza overall is 
good. Um, I don't think it's busted. I don't think it's like super impressive by any means. But I think he's going to put up some big numbers. I think he's going to definitely hit quite hard. And uh, defensively, like, I feel like he's going to lack. I feel like he's going to lack defensively um, on, like, red zone and maybe extreme super bad road. Of course, having that great chance to dodge uh, as Blue Gogeta is definitely going to help a lot on uh, events where you can dodge, for sure. So... You know, in those situations where, like, you're getting good RNG, you're getting lucky, then he might not take any damage at all, right? Which is uh, just fine. But on the harder events, if he doesn't dodge or if he can't dodge because of dodge nullification, then uh, I think his defense will get you in some trouble because uh, it's not going to be that impressive. You know, I think it's going to be okay defense, but just nothing crazy. So he's still going to be a offensively focused unit. And uh, overall, yeah, like I said, good easy A. I think it's just fine. It doesn't uh, blow me away by any means. You know, it wasn't like when I read the uh, Fizz Cooler or, sorry, uh, AGL Cool. No, getting my types mixed up. It wasn't like when I saw the STR Final Form Cooler details or when I saw like the uh, Tech LR Rose and Zamasu details. When I saw those, I was like, yo, this is a crazy easy A. I don't get the same vibe here, but I think it's definitely going to make him usable now. I think he's definitely going to put up some good numbers, and uh, I'm still excited to finally run him again after all this time, right? So that is the Super Saiyan slash Blue Gogeta. Now moving on to the Fizz Broly. Uh, yeah, so before the Easy A, we'll start with the, of course, Super Saiyan Broly first, and then move on to the Full Power Broly. So, leader skill is uh, movie bosses, key plus 3, attack plus 170, HP and defense plus 150, or full power, key plus 3, attack plus 170, HP and defense plus 130. Uh, super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to all enemies. And passive is key plus 6, attack plus 130, and defense plus 100%, transforms when conditions are met. So, I kind of forgot how basic this guy's defense was, or sorry, his... Uh, passive how basic his passive was because it was literally like one line right which is kind of weird to see um given the fact that like all new units these days have paragraphs as their passives but uh yeah that's his pre easy a passive uh he transforms to full power starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle now with the extreme z awakening his new leader skill is movie bosses, movie bosses, or full power. Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. And passive is key plus 6, attack and defense plus 150%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 120%, and performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack if there is one enemy at the start of turn. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 150%, and performs an additional super attack if there are two or more enemies at the start of turn. Transform when conditions are met. So basically, uh, he has different buffs depending on how many enemies you're facing. If you're facing just one, then he gets the 120% attack and defense and has a high chance to launch the additional super attack, right? But if you're facing two or more enemies, like in uh, Super Battle Road or uh, World Tournament, for example, then he's getting the attack and defense plus 150% and also performs a guaranteed super attack, which is only going to make him uh, more viable in Super Battle Road and World Tournament, right? Because I was finding before he was good for World Tournament up to a certain point, but when he got to like 25x and 30x, he didn't quite put out enough damage with the one super to... Uh, clear the enemy team, especially if you're facing multiple STR enemies, right? So now with the uh, massive additional attack and defense boost and then the guaranteed uh, additional super, possibly a third super from the hidden potential, he should be able to uh, kill everyone by himself, right? So uh, definitely a nice change. I like what I see here. Uh, so far, Broly has definitely impressed me more compared to the Gogeta, just as far as like the improvement from pre-EZA to post-EZA, right? So that is the Super Saiyan Broly. Now, moving on to the, oh, hold on. Uh, Super Attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, 
and causes supreme damage to all enemies. Now, moving on to the full power Broly, which once again transforms after four turns. Uh, leader skill stays the same. Passive is causes immense damage and massively lowers defense. And then the passive is Q plus eight, attack and defense, or sorry, attack plus 188% and defense plus 120%. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, Passive becomes key plus 8, attack and defense plus 200%, performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack, gains an additional attack plus 200%, and defense plus 100% if there is one enemy at the start of turn, gains an additional attack and defense plus 120% if there are two or more enemies at the start of turn, and then performs an additional super attack for the rest of battle, starting from the turn where this character has launched their third super attack in battle. So essentially, the full power Super Saiyan Broly can launch up to, it looks to me like four supers in a turn, right? Because he gets the you know, initial super, and then you get the uh, additional attack, there's a high chance to become a super, that's two. And then you get this guaranteed super after launching your third super, right? So that's three. And then of course, from the hidden potential system, you can get a fourth one. So this guy could definitely put out some massive, massive damage. And uh, defensively, um, he's gonna be okay. Once again, I don't think he's gonna have crazy defense, just like the blue Gogeta. He might have he should have actually better defense than the uh, Blue Gogeta just based on the buffs, right? But even then, I don't think it's gonna be that crazy. I mean, the standard these days for like what good defense is, is pretty high, right? So um, I think his defense will be solid. It's gonna be good, um, especially compared to like the Blue Gogeta, but then Blue Gogeta gets the dodges, whereas Broly doesn't, right? But because he's launching so many supers, uh, he should be getting quite a few stacks of his uh, attack and defense on the super attack as well. So the super attack is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and lowers uh, and massively lowers the enemy's defense. So yeah, if you launch like three supers, you're stacking this three times. So uh, post super, he should be getting some good defense. Free super, um, maybe not as impressive as it should be, right? So. Yeah, that is the full power Broly. I still think it looks very, very powerful, especially offensively. Um, it's going to be fun to get all the supers every single turn. And um, yeah, I feel like he's maybe a little bit better than the blue Gogeta. Maybe a bit more utility just because of the attack all, right? And uh, he's going to be amazing in Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, World Tournament. Um, and I guess any other future events where there are like multiple enemies like that, right? But um, both of them, I think, uh, are just really good, really solid Extreme Z Awakenings. I don't think they're as broken as some people might be hoping for. Kind of like the um, Tech Vegito Blue and STR Rose, like two very good EZAs, but people's expectations were like all the way up here, and they ended up being like here, which is still very very good very usable it's not like super busted like they were hoping for so um i think these guys are kind of in the same boat uh not like crazy crazy broken not crazy busted but more than good enough more than usable and uh yeah just solid easy as all around so that is my opinion guys that's how i feel about these let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it how you guys assess these easy as at least on paper um you know your first impressions definitely let me know and uh that's all i gotta say for today guys a big shout out once again to the homie goresh for his translations i'm super super stoked for these guys and uh of course i'll bring you guys some content related to them once they drop like uh you know a stream for the extreme Z battle showcases all that good stuff so that's it. That's uh, all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching as always. And if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.